Hello guys, this is Anjanir Vakas Ahmed. Today we are going to understand how to install Primera P6 at latest version as of now. I'm uh, making this video 25.2 and uh, this setup uh, in your system as of now. I, I suppose that you people are going to start your job career in planning and control. Very easy steps and here I have ready to go link. You can also download this link from Oracle website and I just make copy of this link and I'm going to paste on my browser and here we are and I'm just going to make copy paste like this way enter and then it will help me to land on this page before installation of the setup you should make sure that your system is carrying window 10 or above than that right the second one your window should be 64 bit the third important thing the ram inside your system should be greater than 4 gb right so these are the basic prerequisitions you need to install and just click on this install 64 bit it's done you can see on the top of this uh, screen that it's done and now uh, I will just take it, I will explore it from my system where it is downloaded and here we are. See, here we have this setup. I will just make this setup into this folder, right? I will open up this folder. So here we are. And uh, after that, what you need to do, you have to just make double click over here. And meanwhile, you are going to make double click. It is going to make like installation, right? So. Meanwhile, it will take some time, but as of now, I will share some other things because we are not going to bore you. So Primavera P6 is actually PMIS project management information system for project planning control engineers. Uh, you know, if you are working on building roads, pipeline, MEP, oil and gas, combined cycle power plant, any project, you name it, they need to be have one proper schedule to follow to complete that project successfully. So this tool is going to help you a lot to land you in that job career, which is called project management or project planning and control. Oil and gas projects, EPC projects, shutdown maintenance schedules are very, very in demand. These job roles like planning engineers, schedulers, planners, junior planners, right? Civil engineers, electrical, mechanical, all those engineers can learn this skill set, right? That is the piece of information I wanted that I can, I should share with you people while it is taking this time to uh, you know download and meanwhile uh, it's been like uh, seven years uh, yes and uh, very coincidence the time i'm uh, you know recording this video is 28 june seven years ago on the same day i have started my coaching services right and till now i have conducted uh, you can say 10000 more people have joined my webinars and uh, 4000 more people have uh, joined my paid sessions for shutdown for epc and all that so meanwhile, it is downloading. I will share more information. I'm also uh, going to, uh, you know, give you some tutorials so that after installation of this video, you should go there after installation and watch those. I think those are uh, five hours based tutorials. So that tutorial is going to make a lot of value addition in your profile. So go there and watch them, right? So that's all information I'm going to share with you. Meanwhile, you are going to install, be patient and just let it to in download in your system. And after that, there are just few steps we need to carry out and we are going to successfully launch our first Primera P6 setup in our system. And then things are gonna be very easy because project planning control uh, this skill is too much recognized and valuable across the globe among the companies which are operating in renewable energy oil and gas construction infrastructure manufacturing process operation defense system because it is going to care about your uh, project time management cost management strategy making decision making analytical approach earned value management systems delay analysis recovery schedules resource allocation cost tracking and different kind of strategies gonna be uh, easy for you know us to uh, implement using these optimized softwares right so just having a couple of seconds uh, out there just to complete this thing right so if you want to i'm also offering these services after watching those tutorials i would request you people if you have any query you can approach me via my whatsapp number which is given out there as well right now you can see that uh, you know one logo over here i just make it highlight over here on the taskbar window see over here okay so this is p6 right 
So this is your system. Now I'm going to click on this one and it is going to pop up like this way, right? So I just make sure that like this way, see? Here, what we are going to see more. Uh, what are the steps we need to follow over here? So one by one here, you just need to clear edit database configuration. Once you are going to do that one, this complete window will open up. And within this window, I just want to make sure that you can see full window, right? And okay, like this one. Okay, so you can see this. And after that, you just need, might be possible, I have already installed this software like two or three times. That's why I can, you can see there are three files. But as of your case, you are doing it first time, click on this add button, the first thing, it will add one database file, which is going to save in your system. Just name this file and here the top one option you are going to select. The last one, P6 professional standalone. It means that we are going to use it uh, in the standalone version. When you are working in some company with some integration, then they are going to tell IT people. So this is the standalone version, right? Uh, add a connection to an existing standalone. That is one thing which you need to understand that already system was uh, installed, but you are going to connect this new system with the old system. But in our case, the second option is most comfortable, right? And then next. In next window, admin, keep it as it is. Lenovo, this is my computer name, and then enter new password. The same thing, admin. A lot of people are doing mistakes over here. They are doing uh, admin name by themselves, like James Bond 007. Don't do like that. Go by your, you know, the recommended practices like admin, admin, right? And then next. And then keep, you know, this uh, checkbox, load sample data, and this one should be checkbox. Save. Okay, it is okay. That's and then you are going to make it okay. Next, that's one done. Just close it. Don't go for the next. Again, it is asking you the same thing. Close this one, right? Again, I'm going to share with you the window that uh, over here. See, now this is installed. I'm going to make sure over here, admin, this is our password. Connect. And now it is going to open up the interface of Primavera P6. And uh, yes, most of the people are going to receive one message. One pop-up window is going to ask you this one. I'm going to share with you people. See this window. They are going to receive this one. See the appropriate industry. Just make sure about this. Okay. Because this is asking you that select. Once we are get into Primavera P6, we are going to select that company. And here we are. That is how after login, Primavera P6 is going to display like this way. See, that is how Primavera P6 look like. This is Primavera P6 EPS. It is showing different kind of project file as of loaded sample data of project files. Once you are going to start this understanding how to create project files, how to work as a planning engineer, what are the important things. So I wish you all the best. That is just start. And uh, again, I'm going to give you a reminder that uh, if you are new and you want to learn there i am going to share with you people many uh, videos like tutorials this is about five hours based tutorials to understand the complete skill set right so even you have any query my whatsapp number is attached you can approach me or my team as well and if you need that uh, link which i from where i started just write primavera p6 in the comment area good luck thank you very much and support me by writing the comments and subscribe this channel thank you very much